Hello everyone, welcome back to Devya Maglani classes. Today what we are going to talk about is Securities Law and Capital Market. Securities Law and Capital Market, yes, it's all together a new subject for you guys. So we have changed a lot this and this. Yes, I know, I know. It's not the artificial one, it's still original one. Now talking about the topic, we do have what we are going to talk about is Securities Law and Capital Market. So talking about Securities Law, Securities Law, what is security? Uh, security is something which we have covered into our company law talking about section 2 subsection H of SCRA securities contract regulation at 1956 yes so that was the definition of security which do include a lot of things so how that securities will be regulated this is all about securities law and how the market will be regulated that is all about capital market uh, okay now moving on to the topic itself that what we are going to talk about that you must have seen a lot of people who used to trade i mean who used to deal with stock exchanges the people who are dealing at stock exchanges the people who are selling shares they are buying shares every time so you let us let me give you an example you do have a person in your neighbor whose name is ram babu ram babu is a person who used to trade or who used to do every day, uh, day trading that can be intraday that can be intraday trading on that kind of stock exchanges he do has a have a dmat account he do have everything so what does this ram babu basically what is the things which are required to be carried out so ram babu particularly purchases shares of a company ram babu is going to purchase the shares of a company he will purchase shares of a company and after some time when he will find that yes if he has purchased the shares of the company at rupees 1000 they have moved on to 1500 rupees ram babu will sell it ram babu will sell it if he is going to sell now you are not required to look over here my dear future company secretary you will be standing over here you are somehow over here who is going to regulate this sale and this purchase this buy and sell relationship definitely the shares are never sold through any of the olx or they are not sold like share lelo share lelo 100 rupees 100 rupees 100 rupees no there is nothing like ki bindi bigraiya bazar ke andar no i said i mean nobody is going to have uh, uh, nobody is going to shout like 100 rupees 100 rupees the other person will say like, no 90 90 90 90 rupees 90 rupees per kg no, that is not going to be there like that now in that kind of situation there will be a person who is going to regulate all these kind of situations when it comes to purchase and sale of shares so talking about this person has purchased shares can i say it like the shares are a part of security Yes, shares are a part of security. Security section 2 subsection H of SCRA 1956, which includes so many things. Now, now, my dear future company secretary, can you please tell me one thing? That this buy and sell, this buy and sell, this takes place at the stock exchange, if I am not wrong. Yes, and if we talk about today, we do have only two kind of stock exchanges which are available dynamic and designated that is NSC and BSC only. So the very first is NSC and then it's BSC. But right? these are the two kind of stock exchanges which are available. Now the people who are going to be over here, the people who are going to take care of those kind of things, who are going to be there, they are going to look after a lot of laws. It looks too simple. It looks too simple because you are looking from the investor's point of view. Right? You are looking from the investor's point of view but when it comes to a company, company, if a company wants to go for buyback, then there are certain different implications or or let me give you the very simple scenario if you want to go for an ipo or you want to go for an fpo right you want to go for an ipo or you, have, you want to go for an ipo just like your wedding is going on everybody is going to come they are going to subscribe they are going to subscribe they are going to eat in your wedding and after that they are going to pay for that they will give you an amount known as gift the IPO and FPO that the same scenario carries on being like that yes it's a wedding going on. The people are going to subscribe, they are going to have the chicken, they are going to have, if that is a vegetarian uh, wedding, then definitely they are going to have shai paneer. 
right so in that kind of scenarios everybody they are going to have they are going to subscribe they are going to subscribe and after that they are going to f f f they will be getting uh, proper uh, food they will give you a gift if in case you went to a particular wedding and what you find that everything everything is over will you give them something as a part of gift no sir I mean, I mean, why not any other place? Why stock exchange? Because the company is listed on that stock exchange. You can buy shares from that place. You can sell shares from that place. Depending upon, depending upon that if, let me give you one more scenario. If a company is listed, if a list company is listed, then definitely Ram Babu can purchase shares and sell shares very easily. But in case if a company is not listed, in case if a company is not listed, then what is going to happen in that scenario? In that scenario, you will find like that if that company is not listed, if that company is not listed, then then it will be very difficult to sell shares or to buy shares. Talking about a private company, talking about a private company, can you sell those shares? No, sir. We, uh, we, we know that, that uh, as per article of association, the company is restricted from transfer of its shares. So just like that, about this whole scenario, about this whole scenario, this is, there is a law which is applicable on the security named as security law, which you guys have to cover. I will explain everything about this. And there is one more most important thing that 100% of examination is going to be there from your notes only. Because we are going to have our classes from the basis of ICSI module. Yes, I will not give any of the classes apart from this module. Whatsoever is over there in this module, we are going to cover that. Now, moving on to next, the law which is going to govern the security is known as security law. There is another part. Now, there is another part which is going to govern this NSC, BSC, this buy and sell part. That means from listing to trading, that is known as capital market. That is known as capital market. This things related to capital market and the security law is going to be there in your examination for 70 marks and capital market is going to be in the, your examination for 30 marks. Got my point? Now moving on to the main topic. Moving on to the main topic. That, 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 that. This is the legal framework. These are the acts which we are going to cover. So the very first is SCRA, Securities Contract Regulations Act 1956. This is required to be covered along with rules. If I talk about the act now, by the time when I was a student, I was finding this act as very, I mean, boring one. Because it is only and only going to tell me about the powers about the powers of the government, about the powers of the adjudicating authority. Main kya kya kar sakta hoon, ye tumha bataya ga hi. Main ye kar sakta hoon, wo kar sakta hoon, par karta kuch nahi. After that, after that, we are also going to talk about the case of Subrata Roy Sahara, why he is there into jail. After that, governing issue and listing of securities. How you can issue the securities, how you are going to list the securities. Listing of securities refers to kaha pe, OLX pe. OLX pe bejhenge hum apni company ke acha ab ek baat batao the company is uh, company basically comes forward with public issue so where they are going to sell their shares OLX pe fir kahan bejhenge OLX pe nahi bejhenge acha fir kahan bejhenge quicker pe quicker quicker pe bejhein aajkal facebook pe marketplace aayi hai wahan bejhein nahi sir stock exchange pe bejhenge okay listings at stock exchange Listing at stock exchange. So this is going to be there at stock exchange. After that, the next thing is we are going to talk about SEBI. SEBI. SEBI is one of the most, I mean, uh, prominent authorities in India when it comes to the listed companies. What you will find that when it comes to listed companies, everything will be governed by SEBI. When it comes to an unlisted company, definitely that is going to be governed by the company, uh, that the company law itself. But when it comes to listed company, SEBI will come into picture. When I talk about, I mean, if you are giving me an invitation, 
just like a listed company is there just like a listed company is there cb will automatically come into picture kahan ja rahe ho tum kiske sath ja rahe ho kiski party hai kyun ja rahe ho so everything just like that cb will put a lot of questions onto that uh, concerned married person just like her spouse his, his spouse sorry just like his spouse that where you are going why you are going when you will be back you are not going to have baby uh, shake over there that means you are not going to ring what kind of a party is that i am also uh, going to be there i mean uh, i will accompany you for that so just like that cb is going to put a lot of questions now cb will take care of you that is not taking care man that is not taking care now depositories 19 depository act 1996 just like that just like that how many of you have seen that ready movie of salman khan the mother of all banks the father of all banks the world bank just like that just like that we do have a lot of banks and in every above every bank we do have rbi just like we do have a lot of depository participants and above them we have depository what is depository what is a depository participant we are going to cover that later on but let me tell you whenever a particular dmat account is opened that is opened with a particular dp you must have heard about a lot of people about the dmat account that can be india bulls rally gear share khan so every dmat account is opened with a kind of depository participant and this depository participant is going to be under any of the two depositories talking about we do have only two depositories in india nsdl and cds NSDL National Security Depository Limited. This is also, I mean, written on your PAN card. Your Income Tax Authority has basically delegated the powers related to Section One Forty Nine, filing of Form Forty Nine, right? To when you are going to register yourself with the, that kind of uh, Income Tax Authorities. So the power that work has been delegated to NSDL. Now Depositories Act Nineteen Ninety Six. After that, Depositories Participant Regulations. We are going to combine both of them. now after that moving on to next sir uh, what is this we will be getting these kind of charts every time i will try to give you these kind of charts every time as far as i am concerned as far as these are going to be available they will be shared or else we are going to note down every as now 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 the next thing is all about the sebi issue of capital and disclosure requirements sebi issue of capital disclosure requirements this is what we call as lodr so we are going to cover lodr as well after that share based employee benefits i am going to discuss this in detail as well this is going to form a part of your syllabus that what are the benefits which you are giving to your employee right just like the benefit should be like employee i employee entered into the company there is a person who is going to basically give them a tea or a coffee what is the requirement after one hour after one hour the particular refreshment will be offered after 2 hours there will be break lunch break in the lunch break they will be allowed they will be allowed to sleep for one hour wow wow such a company sir i am ready to work in that company and after that uh, once you are going to wake up once you are going to wake up after that they are going to serve you a, a tea again or else the people who are looking for i mean anything else refreshment will be given then again work for 2 hours only and after that you will be free oh that's my dream job sir that's my dream job if you come to know about any of these companies please let me know yes do uh, there are companies like that but they are not going to pay you for the, that kind of a job right now moving on to next talking about those kind of things so what are the various benefits which are employed, available to the employee if what is over there when it comes to a listed company a listed company is issuing the sweat equity shares only these shares can be issued at at discount when it comes to listed company and they are doing buyback you guys know about buyback right purchase of its own securities by the company itself and destroying them is buyback after that prohibition of insider trading now what is termed as insider trading what you what do you understand by the term insider trading talking about that kind of things i mean if you guys let me give you the exact example if you are going to be over here if you are going to be over here then in that scenario you know everything about the company you yes you the my dear kmp my dear key managerial person you will know everything about the company then when the price of the shares of my company are going to rise and when they are going to fall you will know everything that how much profit we have earned in this year and how much dividend we are going to distribute this year 
what was the position in the last year and what is the current position at this time what is going to be our future plan you will know everything about your company you are going to have every kind of an information when it comes to your company but please ensure if you are going to share this is all about you are an insider of the company you are an insider that means a person which is there working within the company i will tell you the exact i mean definition of that as well you are the insider of the company and the trading and the trading talking about if you start trading with the shares of the company then then what is going to happen so that is straight away going to be basically prejudicial to the normal people, public who is dealing with the shares or else talking about ram babu ram babu is not going to have the internal information ram babu is not going to have the internal information about the company but you do have but you do have that internal information if you start dealing on the basis of that internal information particularly known as upsi unpublished price sensitive information that means any kind of that information which is going to affect the price after that we are going to talk about the sebi sast regulations sast kiski sas i mean mother in law no 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 sast over here refers to take over you guys know about that uh, tata has taken over jaguar range rover right they have acquired so how the takeover is going to take place we are going to share a glimpse of that as well after that delisting of equity shares what is delisting your company is listed at stock exchange that is that never happens only the shares are listed so your company is listed at the stock exchange people are looking at those kind of things do you know how i mean how that kind of stock exchange works let me show you let me show you. so looking over here what you will find that this is the price of uh, top nif uh, i mean nifty today nifty consists of 50 stock indices talking about sensex consists of 30 of them so this is the price so you can see over here let me give you the example about this okay i'm sorry i'm sorry so i'll just share this with you guys so you can see the companies they are written over there at the left they are written over there at the left they are listed that's why they are written over there if they remove themselves if they remove themselves from this listing then what is going to be the procedure or in case or in case there are going to be two instances there are going to be two instances that one is termination that you have the, the shares of the your company were not frequently traded so they have been basically delisted or else something was found which was prejudicial which was prejudicial to the i mean uh, when it comes to the interest of general public so that that's why the company has been delisted that's all about the termination a kind of termination and there is one thing which we are going to talk about like that i want to resign i do not want my the shares of my company to be listed that's it so in both of the aspects how the scenario is going to work after that we have taken care of everything when it comes to that kind of listing of equity shares and how we are going to talk about the debt securities debt securities that means udhar yes you are going to issue debentures or else you are going to issue any kind of other debt securities then in that kind of an issue how the things are required to be dealt with now the next is prohibition of unfair trade practices so that is about the unfair trade practices relating to securities market if i tell you guys about that uh, here we are going to talk about the arshad mehta scam what kind of unfair trade practices he has adopted now what are the other things there are intermediate regulations these are the different kind of intermediaries which are available which are going to help your company in listing and in trading as well so they are going to be a lot of people when it comes to particularly uh, doing any kind of a public issue they are the people who are going to help you out right so there are other uh, regulations as well talking about ombudsman prohibition of fraudulent collective investment scheme yes collective investment scheme is something which you guys have co i mean covered into your company law as well now let's straight away move on to your syllabus let's straight away move on to your syllabus so this is going to be sir what we were covering uh, till day no that was uh, just like that that it was over there what you will do paper six security law is going to be there for 70 marks and capital market for 30 okay so that is going to be there in your examination now talking about that kind of things that is your syllabus so part a security law first of all we are going to talk about the securities contract regulation act 1956 but the interesting portion is this contract regulation rules 1957 otherwise rest of the things when it talks about definitions definitions from my side will be given as a part of homework because that is totally a part which is required to be memorized that is required to be learned 
and i will tell you guys that what is the best time to learn those kind of things now moving on to next what is a stock exchange what is clearing corporation what is the base what does it mean by the listing of securities what does it mean by what are the things which are related to public issue and listing of securities under securities contract so i'll tell you that how you are going to list your shares how you are going to list your shares and after that how that listing will be continued after that we have heard about the same thing so many times sebi who is going to raise your question like your bb that why aisa kyun right now moving on to next objective powers and functions of sebi after that sat and scores there are so many other things which are available score is a redressal system nothing else my dear student yes depositories act 1996 so what kind of a depository system which is over there which is in india which is available after that what are the functions of depository what does this depository do basically what is their work and after that what are the depository participants who can be what is the admission of securities what is demat dematerialization dematerialization you have guys have covered into your companies act section number 23 or if i talk about section 62 when a preferential issue is basically carried on by a listed company that whenever a particular kind of equity shares they are issued or any kind of securities which are issued they should be there in demat form that mean that they should be there in electronic form dematerialization is conversion of physical shares share certificates into electronic format rematerialization is process of conversion of conversion of electronic shares into physical shares certificates what is the process of depository inspection and penalty what is the internal audit concurrent audit of depository participants these audits are required to be conducted only by a practicing company secretary though chartered accountants can conduct it as well but 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 this is a recommendation from sebi that for such kind of things you should hire a practicing company secretary now sebi issue of capital and disclosure requirements 2009 sebi lodr listing obligations and disclosure requirements which has replaced the listing agreement which was between the stock exchange and the companies which are going to be listed at that kind of stock exchange after that sebi sas sa st regulations 2011 that means how the takeover is going to take place how the buyback is going to take place buyback we know about buyback we have covered that in company law but this is going to be related to a listed company when it comes to a listed company the buyback is totally different but when it comes to other kind of companies that is totally different now moving on to next delisting of equity shares why the delisting will be done what is voluntary delisting and well voluntary is something when i am i am my company is going to apply to the stock exchange that i do not want to continue as a part of listed company i want my shares to be delisted so that is voluntary compulsory is something when an order has been issued by the concerned stock exchange that you just straight away move on the first thing is get out or is the second option is may i get out may i go out please not get out so sebi share based employee benefits that means the, what are the various benefits which are available to the employee of a particular company and how they are required to be taken care of sebi issue of strict equity regulations 2002 how you are going to issue i am going to talk about every time i am talking about only a listed company security law every time deals with those kind of things those kind of situations when a, when it comes to a public company a private company cannot be listed right prohibition of insider trading so as i told you guys that you, you are going to have the person who is sitting next to me is going to have every kind of an information when it comes to company when it comes to company means you are going to have every kind of an information that how this company is going to deal with that kind of scenarios if if you are going to transfer that information you might be given lakhs or crores for that just passing on an information and if you are found guilty then the money which you have earned into three times is going to be the penalty or 25 crore whichever is higher i will tell you about that and how that calculation is done okay the calculation is too much i mean the things are like oh my god now moving on to next mutual funds oh there are a lot of times what you guys basically come to know about mutual funds mutual funds sahi hai mutual funds sahi hai that kind of an advertisement is uh, given uh, is shared a lot of times when it comes to the telecom media 
So mutual funds say here, what is mutual funds and what are the various schemes which are involved? Who are the major players? Who is a sponsor? Who is an asset management company and trustee unit holder? How the I mean the performance will be evaluated? What is expense ratio, holding period return, net asset value? What are those things which we are going to cover in mutual fund? Sahi hai, kaise hai? You are going to be a company secretary who is going to tell that yes, mutual fund sahi hai, kaise sahi hai? Ye wala mutual fund sahi hai, isme paisa lagao. Kaise lagao? You are going to carry out a lot of things about that. Collective investment scheme, CIS. What is this? Collective investment scheme refers to where, where uh, basically a lot of investors came into picture and they are going to basically pool in their investments. They are going to pool in their investments and they are going to invest approximately at some which is not less than 1000 crores. So they are going to invest that amount and that using that amount of business activity is going to be carried on and submission of information and documents, trustees and other obligations. Ombudsman, Ombudsman, the, he is a man who used to, his name is Om, and he used to sell that earbuds, which are used to clean your ears. Is it like that? No. He is that kind of a person who is appointed so that you are going to file complaint against the government or government agencies to the SEBI Ombudsman. Getting my point? So he will tell you about that, how the grievances can be resolved. He will tell you about the award. He will tell you that, yes, this kind of things are required to be carried out. This is all about scores. It's a basically a uh, redressal system, nothing else. CB information guidance scheme and ombudsman is that kind of a person who is going to regulate the grievances which you guys have covered, which you guys basically feel, uh, feel, feel or you face while dealing with government authorities. Got it? Now, moving on to next point. So these 14 chapters are something which you are going to cover for seven months, right? Now, moving on to next capital market and intermediaries. So what is capital market? Basically, this is what we are going to talk about. Talking about primary market is something where, where shares are issued, where shares are issued. Talking about Capital Market Investment Institute, you, you have heard about this QFI, QIB, sorry, Qualified Institutional Buyers, right? After that, Foreign Portfolio Investors, Private Equity, Angel Funds, Venture Capital, Pension Funds, Alternative Investment Funds, what are they? They turn out to be such kind of basically angels. They turn out to be those kind of people when a company needs funds, they are going to invest in bulk. They are going to invest in bulk. So let me give you a situation in case there was time, there is time when you need money, when you need money and your father instantly gives you 5 lakh rupees. Le beta, ji le apni zindagi. So in that particular kind of a situation, in that particular kind of a situation, you are going to be like, wow, my father is the best father in the world. In that kind of situation, they are those kind of people who are going to invest in company in a very bulky amount. Now, moving on to next, capital market instruments. Capital market instruments, that is equities, preference shares, shares with DVRs, differential voting rights, what is a corporate debt, what is non-convertible debenture, what is basically convertible debentures, convertible debentures, what kind of they are, partially, fully or optionally. After that, what is FCCB, foreign currency convertible bonds, what is foreign currency exchange bonds, and what is IDR? You have covered ADR, na? You have covered ADR, GDR into Section 41 of Companies Act. That a company in India goes abroad and over there they are going to issue shares. And after that, derivatives. What are derivatives? What are warrants? We are going to cover about each and every scenario in very much detail. Aspects of primary market. Uh, what is book building? What is ASBA application supported by block amount? What is green shoe option? Sir, green shoe, gee, what kind of shoes are there? I mean, I don't like green shoes. It's not about the shoes which you are going to wear. It is all about that if you are going to issue shares, you the people they are going to apply at your company. What is the assurity that they are? Okay, so let me give you one more situation. You are there into a particular company and your company has issued one crore shares and the people who have applied, they are five crore. So what is the assurity that everybody will be getting shares? Right. So the assurity is very low, right? In that situation, you are going to get money. 
the money the total quantum of money the quantity of money that has been raised that has been raised to 5000 crore rupees taking 5000 crore rupees from public and refunding them again refunding them again your issue is only of 500 crores that has been oversubscribed 10 times in that situation the handling of that money the bank is not going to do that for free come on he is not your brother in law the jija ji hai jija ji hai chhod do aisa nahi chalega na beta so in that situation he is going to charge you a lot of amount so there are a lot of aspects that whether how the money can be taken up and how we are going to deal with rest of the situations related to that so these are those kind of aspects that how we are going to take the money from the investor and how that is required to be dealt now development of stock uh, secondary market where shares are traded where shares or securities right the exact term securities are traded so we are going to talk about the stock market we are going to talk about the trading mechanism and after that we are going to talk about the group block and bulk deals what is the basis of sensex what is nifty what are basically the various penalties which are associated after that we are going to talk about okay risk management in secondary market we are going to talk about inflation what is inflation in fact uh, index what is the credit policy of rbi right so there are so many things which are related to that which we are going to cover about that is just a minute minute topic this subject will give you marks very easily because the you just have to understand the topics rest leave it up to me i will give you charts for that what are the secondary market intermediaries shares are being traded shares are being traded so can they be traded uh, on their own or uh, we will be requiring some kind of effort for that for that there are so many intermediaries uh, you will come to know about merchant bankers or you must have heard about merchant bankers so many times there are stock brokers there are syndicate members rt registrar and share transfer agent after that there is a person named as underwriter bankers to issue portfolio managers debenture trustee sir we know about these kind of people uh, little little i mean thoda thoda okay chote chote okay investment advisors and what is basically what are the market makers what are credit rating agencies crisis crisis ikra how basically internal audit of the these intermediaries are required to have an internal audit which is required to be managed by the practicing company secretary in that particular kind in that particular kind of a scenario how those things are required to be dealt with so this is the overall scenario कि क्या क्या हमको पढ़ना है दैट व्हाट आर द थिंग्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू अकॉम्प्लिश जस्ट लाइक जस्ट लाइक आई स्टिल रिमेंबर व्हेन यू गाइस बेसिकली मेट योर फर्स्ट क्रश ओ माय गॉड शी इज माय क्रश एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट एवरीथिंग अबाउट हर वेदर शी इज कमिटेड और नॉट आई मीन व्हाट आर हर लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स सो आई हैव गिवन यू द होल पिक्चर अबाउट एग्जामिनेशन जाओ और पढ़ा लो आई विल टेल यू द टेक्निक्स एज वेल Just, just consider the classroom as love, and let me consider uh, yourself as your friend, not love guru. I'm not going to be like that, right? I, come on, a conference literary can never be a love guru. I'm very bad at that kind of things. So you just have to crack that part. Ab uska breakup karao, kuch bhi karao. I don't care, but you have to crack the examination. Examination is your crush. After that, once you are having that two words before your name as a prefix. I mean, the life is going to change. The people who are around you, they are going to tell you that yes, you are a computer literary. Can you please tell me this? The questions might be illogical a lot of time, but you will gain a, a stage of repute. You will be there at a particular situation of repute. It is not going to be like that. People are going to take you casually after that. No, you just have to give them a card, man. The CS, da da da. After that, the things are going to work on their own. so looking over here looking over here none of the chartered accountants none of the company secretaries are aware about these kind of terminologies none of the chartered accountants or sorry cost accountants they are not aware about such kind of things they don't know anything about that as well unless until unless they are practicing into that when it comes to company secretary you guys are only who are going to be there as kmp who are going to play in market about that and one more thing Sir, uh, I would like to put a couple of questions now. Yes, please. The very first question which I have: Which book you are going to prefer? Okay. Will you be covering every amendment? Yes. When it comes to amendments, every amendment is required to be taken care of from my end. 
as far as they are going to be necessary that will be covered on their own you need not to worry about anything else okay uh, great sir uh, who are you sir my name is dr miglani i'm company secretary by profession bcom mcom dipr and so many others so leave that leave that it's all about that we are going to basically have our classrooms we are going to have our classrooms we'll be sharing some live examples i'll be showing you some kind of live examples that yes at present the situation of nifty or the situation of sensex is like that moreover we'll be talking about the cases which have happened we'll be talking about the cases of sumrata roy sahara we'll be talking about arshad mehta that how that kind of uh, huge scams that they have uh, ever happened in such kind of cases right we'll be making classes too much simple and when it comes to book i'll be focusing on icsi study material if you guys have not received the study material no issues whatever i'll be giving you that is going to form a part of that kind of things and before proceeding further amendments will be covered from my end please be, please be rest, rest assured about that and uh, meanwhile if you by the time you are studying you basically came to know about any of the doubts please let me know that will be resolved over the whatsapp or over the call or whatever the kind of situations although i'll try my best to start every kind of topic with a very scratch itself that will give you an advantage being like i don't know what kind of an iq level do you have but starting everything from scratch will give you the vast knowledge of everything whatsoever basically that uh, that brush up is required at your end or any kind of that kind of stuff is required that will be taken care of totally at my end only okay when it comes to boring topics and 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 there is one thing which i am assuming about you guys no sorry a couple of things the very first thing is that you guys don't know about anything if you know about anything that's great the very first thing is that you guys are basically totally bold you don't know about anything the next point is that if i am going to give you if i am going to give you a particular question is there in examination particular question is there in examination i will give you points only i will give you points you have to explain these points into two into two three lines i basically assume this that my student can do it on its own looking at the bcom examination i mean i do have that much faith about you about on you guys that you are going to write two to three pages on a, a single line but here is the point and you have to explain it properly that is the only thing rest of the things everything i am going to cover into my classroom only you need not to study anything else apart from the class notes that will be sufficient okay now all the best bye take care of yourself we'll catch you in next class See you in classrooms. Bye.